In this video, we'll be creating a map in preparation for it to be exported into PDF format. There are a couple things to consider. First, we want all the features for the entire system map to be included. And secondly, the resulting PDF should be clear and easy to read. I'm going to start by creating a copy of an existing map. So I'm in the catalog pane. I'm going to right click on this one called electric system main, say copy, right click on maps and say paste. And then I'm going to rename this to indicate that it's going to be used for creating a PDF map. Now I'm going to open up that map and start making changes to it. The first thing I'm going to do is to go into the contents pane and get rid of some of these extra layers that I don't want. So for example, this feeder zone layer, I'm going to take that out. Also this duct one, I'm going to take that out as well and wire arrows. So something to consider is what features and layers you want to be visible on this map and then to go ahead and make those changes as part of this PDF map uh, version that you just created. So the next thing I want to do is to make sure that the features are visible at any zoom level. And so to do that, you go into each one of these, right click, and go to properties, make sure that you're on the general option up here, and then change the in beyond and the out beyond both to none, and click on OK, and then to continue to do that for the rest of the layers that are in the list. Now I'm going to zoom into the map and have it display the features uh, in enough detail to where I can see the features and also there's a good amount of spacing um, compared to the other features around it. So this is what it's going to basically look like when you zoom into the PDF map. And so a good uh, starting zoom level to look at is uh, 975. So you might try that as a starting point. After you generate the PDF, if you need more spacing, you can zoom in a little bit more. Uh, you can also zoom out if you have too much spacing. The next thing we're going to do is to lock in the reference scale. And to do that, you will right click on the map in the contents pane and say set reference scale. So this will make it so that as we move around and do things with the map, this reference scale will look just like this. Um, no matter what the zoom level happens to be later on. The next step is to create a bookmark of the full system map itself. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to go to about 37,000 zoom level. Okay, that fits my map in pretty well there. So I'm going to go to bookmarks and say that I want to say new bookmark. And I generally call these full system extent. And the very final step then is just to save your map project. So click on the save project button and that will complete uh, the first part of generating the PDF.